I search through the Stardew Valley backrooms. And by backrooms, I mean the last couple pages of Nexus, scouring through hours of content to find the strangest and most unknown mods the community has to offer. Some good, some weird, some surprisingly well-made and deserving of a lot more attention. Hmm, reminds me of a certain small YouTube channel. After explaining each mod, I'll decide if they're a mod to treasure or not worth the measure, depending on if I'm gonna keep using them or not. Doesn't mean they're bad mods, just that they're not for me. You can decide for yourself if these mods are worth your time. Alright, that's enough preamble. Let's get to it! Fisharia anime portraits. Out of all the types of mods that exist for Stardew Valley, portraits are probably the most popular. So I want to give a shout out to Fisharia Anime Portraits. It's my favorite portrait mod and one I've been using for a long time. Might not be for you depending on your preferred style, but you gotta admit, they're so cute! Even Clint looks a little less miserable than usual. It's a criminally underrated mod, so I highly recommend you give this one a try. It is certainly a mod to treasure. Alright, now we can get to the weird stuff. Marble Star's Head Shaving Alteration. Stardew Valley, more like Uncanny Valley. I'm proud of myself for that one. George and Linus look relatively okay, but the rest of them? Something about seeing Sebastian without his trademark early 2000s emo haircut is just wrong. He looks like a refried bean. I'm sure some of you out there are into baldness, but I am not used to it. This sort of freaks me out. For me, it's not worth the measure. Crewmate Junimos. Amogus! Amogus! Is this meme dead yet? I'm particularly fond of this one because I sort of feel bad for the Junimos. They work all day with no reward, and I can't help but wonder if there's something more sinister going on behind those beady little eyes. Do they secretly hate me? Is this technically slave labor? Am I gonna wake up one morning and find a guillotine outside my window? Well, I don't have to worry about a Junimo revolution anymore. Everyone's hard at work doing their tasks like good little crewmates. Or... Are they? This one's a mod to treasure. Demetrius' shipping box. Sometimes it's the simple things in life that matter the most. Hello! That's it, that's the mod. He just pops out of the shipping container. They have it available for other characters too, but I think Demetrius works best. Poor guy's underappreciated and needs some more screen time. He's a scientist as well, so it makes sense for him to be scrounging around looking for new specimens and whatnot. This is silly harmless fun and I'm here for it. Truly a mod to treasure. Crop markers! This mod is awesome for someone like me who pays attention to, realistically, 30% of his waking life. I forget what I planted almost immediately, so the crop marker mod is great for organization. And it stops me from buying the same seeds three times in a row. <laughs> That's never happened to me. Anyway, you can customize the markers too. I found them a little small at first, so I scaled them up to around 200 to 250% and boom, perfection. Now I'll never forget about my- Oh man, I already planted a field the strawberries. Spooky dog and cat costumes. There are lots of festive costume mods for your pets, but I'm uploading this in September, which means it's almost October, which means it's almost Halloween. You get to choose from four spooky costumes for your little friend. A pumpkin, a wizard, a skeleton, or a ghost. These are actually two different mods, one for cats and one for dogs, but they do the exact same thing, so I'm grouping them together. I'm more of a cat person myself, but whether you fall on the cat side or the wrong side, this is a mod all people and dog lovers can enjoy. Of course, it's a mod to treasure. Simple obelisks. It can be a real pain trying to find a spot for these giant pillars on your farm. They just don't look very nice. Plenty of mods change the look of them, but this one actually changes their size, so you don't have to hide your pillars off in some corner anymore. They make great decorative pieces and free up lots of space on your farm. Just an all-around good mod, and severely underrated. A mod to treasure. Speaking of underground mods, Joja Black Market. It's hard to get more underground than this. Joja Black Market adds a Joja employee who waits in the tunnel by the bus stop and sells unsavory goods. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's seeds and stuff. The shop changes every day. The townsfolk will occasionally hint at some shady business going on, but honestly, it's kinda nice. I'm glad the tunnel finally has a use, and the employee doesn't go away even after you finish the community center, so it's an excellent way to acquire some Joja goods late in the game. Of course, the town would be furious if they ever found out you were corroborating with Joja, so... We gotta keep this on the DL, understand? It's a mod to treasure, but... secretly. Flowing Mine Rocks. Flowing mine rocks changes the way ore appears down in the mine. If you're not a fan of the detached, singular rocks scattered around on the floor, 
Here's your alternative. No gimmicks this time, just a cute little mod that I think more people need to know about. As for myself, I sometimes find it hard to differentiate between the rocks and the ores, so this mod isn't really for me. Don't let that deter you though, I am in fact an idiot. For my monkey brain, it's not worth the measure. Strawdew Valley. No, that's not a typo. Take a guess at what Strawdew Valley does. If you guess that it turns all the townsfolk into straws, you're right! If any of you actually guessed that, I worry for you. Please seek professional help. Every townsperson, er, uh, towns straw, uh, straw person. Every character has their own straw-inspired sprites and portraits. Additionally, they have little quirks to reflect their characters' personalities. For example, Leah resembles one of her sculptures, Evelyn is a delicate paper straw, and Clint still sucks. The wizard, ever mysterious, has turned into a glass of... Purple? Is this the funniest Stardew Valley mod ever made? Yes. Am I going to keep this mod after the video is done? Absolutely not. I miss my cute little sprites. This one, not really worth the measure. It's lonely being a flesh man in a straw world. Oh hey, the Jojo Mart guy's still here. Penny's nightmare. <sighs> oh, good morning, sweet. <laughs> Penny's nightmare? Yeah, mine too! What happened to my beautiful house? And my wife? This mod transforms all the NPCs, except Penny of course, into their Pam-style counterparts. Although, it doesn't make them like beer more, so how Pam are they really? This whole experience was terrifying, so before we move on, here are a few of my favorite Pamifications. And, of course, here's Pam mixed with Shane, who I have lovingly nicknamed Pain. Yeah, I'm not keeping this mod around. I can't look at my wife in the eyes. It's not worth the measure at all. 69 shirt. <sighs> this mod proves I'm really just a child trapped in a man's body. Help me! Shut up! It's a shirt with 69 on it. Watch what happens when you approach an NPC. Need I say more? Oh wow, even the mod's URL ends in 6969. How deep does this go? Forget the Fall 26 curse, I need more 69 shirt lore. You can make this shirt by combining... Oh gosh. You can make this shirt by combining a fish taco and hardwood at a sewing machine. A fish taco? Gross. I don't know what I expected, it is a 69 mod, but that's graphic. It doesn't really change the game at all, and I hate to admit it, but I do find this really funny. So, it's a mod to treasure. Horse cat. Alright, I've already mentioned I like cats, but what about big cats? Big cats you can ride? Enter horse cat. And I've named him Cedric. It's a very basic mod to be fair, it just replaces the horse sprites with those of your farm cat. It's a little rough around the edges, so for the ultra HD hyper realistic 4K gamers out there, this one might not be for you. But you know what? I like the simplicity. And riding around town on a lion is sure to make you the coolest person in Pelican Town. Suck it, Alex! Because I am a biased cat man, this is absolutely a mod to treasure. Honorable mentions. Responsible Marnie! I didn't bother installing this one, but I genuinely laughed out loud when I found this on Nexus. I guess I'm not the only one frustrated with Marnie's antics, because the whole point of this mod is to get her to just... HOLD STILL! My animals are starving, Marnie! I appreciate you stuffing hay into my mailbox, but can you please just do your job? I dropped a coin in the mountains and now I can see it. You see it? No? See it now? There it is. Somebody better go get it. Yeah, it changes one pixel on the profit screen only during spring. It's literally the least amount of work you could possibly put into a mod, and yet, I think it's genius. That's the power of marketing, baby. Pong. All right. You can't play Stardew Valley anymore. It's just Pong. It replaces the whole game with Pong. Ah, oh, damn it. What was I doing? Oh right! I love whoever made this. No one is more creative than Stardew Valley mod developers. And you can't tell me otherwise. Well, if you learn nothing else from this video, it's that Stardew mod creators are insane. In a good way. My favorite of the bunch has to be Strawdew Valley. It's a little disturbing, but it's so unbelievably well made and just ridiculous to play. I can't wait to secretly install it on a friend's computer and watch as they scream in unbridled terror as everything they know crumbles around them into straw Armageddon. Alright, that was a bit of a stretch. There are thousands of other mods to discuss here. I couldn't possibly cover them all in one video. If you enjoyed watching, let me know by leaving a like or telling me in the comments below. If people are amused by this stuff, then I'll make some more videos just like this one. Psst. Hey you. Yeah you. You want more Stardew Valley content? Check out what I got. Boom! Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Even comes with a mysterious unreleased ring. What's it cost you? Nothing, fool, nothing. Of course, if you want to hit the subscribe button, you know, I wouldn't be mad. Wait, you're not a cop, are you? Because this content's so good it's illegal. Alright, now get out of here. Shoo, scram.